Hello boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about how Donald Trump took down the World Trade Center. Just kidding, I'm doing a teardown of this Asus model VM40B. I find all of these systems to pretty much be built the same. I've dealt with uh, multiples. You, as you might be able to tell, this thing's pretty dirty, but that's because it was uh, out in an area where it was really dirty, covered in oil. That's a testament to this thing. And it got so much oil in it that the, the back of the stand up cracked. Anyways, so the v, VM40B, of course, that's what we got to it. If you want to open it up, you got a little tab. Oops, it was already pulled. <laughs> so flip that up. You got your hard drive, you got your RAM in the bottom. Of course, got your RAM there, fan there. Let me get that out of here. RAM. I'm gonna jack that RAM. Use it somewhere else now. Yeah, this system is sick. Just wouldn't turn on for some reason. Oh, there goes the neighborhood bikers. Yippee. Okay. So, we gotta disconnect the power button, and then we gotta disconnect the power and the hard drive port. There must be a tab I'm missing. Yep, there's a tab. So, of course, that's all it hooks up with. Right there. So, that's the fan. That's all you get. And then the fan has this, I guess you would call it heat sink. A little piece of plastic just sticks on over it. Yeah, by the way, I already took all the <laughs> bolts or screws out. I'm sure you already noticed that, though. So, let's take this thing off. This front winger. This is the speakers. There you go, look at those cute little speakers. They're so cute. And that's the board. I will be taking this fan because this fan is so dainty that if you hit it with too much canned air, it will explode. I have seen it happen. It just goes pow. Gonna need that later. And now, what do we have to do? The mounts in this thing are just toast. I had to rip the plastic off of it because I could not get these screws to unscrew. Again, telling you the mount at the bottom was just not working. I want to take this thing off and see that Celeron chip. It's probably fused right onto the board. Damn it! Oh, life is hard. That thing's not coming out. Let's see. Let's see if I got anything else on the board that I need before I just start reefing on it. I should take this Wi-Fi card out. I don't know if I'll ever actually need a Wi-Fi card like that. Uh, as I'm here, quick story, I'm working on a laptop that has a bum Wi-Fi card. And the problem with this Wi-Fi card, it's not working, so I get another one. Just like this, same size. And the freaking HP system's telling me, nope. You can't use that, and then brown. That's it. That's all. One board wonder. What it would take me to see that CPU? One sec. Need some side cutters. By the power of side cutters. Now I have the power. There it is. That's our cutie. That is. In this case, that's a Celeron chip, of course, used right to the board. Nothing on it. And I guess this is either our Northbridge chip or our GPU. Could be wrong. That's what we got, though. That's a long pause for all you circuit board ent enthusiasts. Anyways, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. 
Like and subscribe if you like this kind of demolition destruction. And uh, have a good one.